harvests are connected to ideas. All harvests are connected to ideas. All harvests are connected to ideas. God going to give me ideas in the manifestation process of my harvest. Whenever I'm moving in ideas, I'm in the harvest equation. Remember Proverbs chapter 8 told you about witty inventions. That's, that's ideas. That's the Holy Spirit speaking to you through ideas. When you receive wisdom, God start giving you ideas. Okay. Thanksgiving helps me to maneuver throughout all this to get clarity. Praise produces clarity. Praise produces clarity. Praise produces clarity. If I praise God, I walk in clarity. God will let you be confused until you start praising Him. Now, saints, uh, if you understood what happened to you when you praising God in the Spirit, you attracting everything that belonged to you. I've heard people laugh about the law of attraction. That's stupid. The law of attraction, not witchcraft. The law of attraction is the supernatural realm of Jesus Christ where whatever you are doing whether it be praise sowing seed forgiving the enemy walking in maturity you attracting what belongs to you the Bible said seek ye first the kingdom of God all his righteousness and all other things will be added to you that, that's the law of attraction don't let nobody be with you talking so oh this that's witchcraft that's no nah, that's God God created a system that everything will start coming to you when you start obeying him. That's what happened in the spirit realm. Stuff start coming to you. Money start coming to you. Money cometh to me now. Money start coming to you. Huh? Money start coming to you. When you a sower, you attracting large wealth. You ain't got to see it. The money coming to you. It is flowing towards you in your direction. Every time I'm sowing a seed, there's large money coming in my direction, especially when I'm obeying God with the seed amount. If I'm not shortcoming God, he's not shortcoming me. Financial miracles is in my financial obedience. I'm not just sowing a seed. Seeds are being sown to me, my God. I'm becoming a soul. In the spirit realm, what I'm doing is I'm activating Jehovah Jireh. And when Jehovah Jireh come, I'm no longer living in possibility. I'm living in production. See, possibility and production are two different things. Possibility is potential. But production is the instrumental, is the essential. See, uh, possibility is that I have a guitar. But production is I'm hearing the guitar. See, uh, you have to move from the place of, of potential to the place of instrumental. See, Elijah said, I hear the sound. See, he left possibility to production. He left possibility and entered into production. Now he was a producer. See, he was in the instrumental. Re remember when somebody produced instrumentals, they called themselves a producer. 
Cause they make beats, they make instrumentals. You've been created to make financial instrumentals. You've been created to make financial instrumentals. But see, it's all in my seed. Sowing not only protects my wealth, sowing protects your health. It not only protects your wealth, it protects your health. I can birth financial miracles through financial surrender. Uh, when I don't move in financial surrender, I become a financial offender. If I don't move in financial surrender, I become a financial offender. You know what happens? I offend God with my money. That's dangerous. If I offend God with my money, then being blessed is a violation. I'm cursed if I don't please God financially. That's what uh, Malachi say. I'm cursed with a curse if I don't honor God with my money. He said, bring all the tithes and offerings. So your money can decide whether you bless or curse. Your money can decide whether you have much or have less. How you respond to God with it. You have to respond to God according to your faith. Now, let me just say this. When you think in God, you're activating all type of angels that come for various reasons. Not all of them come on the same assignment. While you think in God, there are angels that come to you for the purpose of healing, for the purpose of uh, divine relationships, for the purpose of wealth, for the purpose of finances, for the purpose of wisdom, for the purpose of discernment. There's all type of angels that come while you're thanking God. And if you stay in the flow of thanking God, you'll be the most powerful woman on the earth. Women struggle because they don't thank God. Men are weak because they don't thank God. People are depressed because they don't thank God. Thanksgiving releases the hope anointing. And hope is a rope to the oxygen of God. Everybody is on lifeline, but some people are choosing to die. They cutting off the cord and messing up their supply. Everybody is on lifeline. We all down here on Lifeline. And, and some people are cutting off the oxygen and dying prematurely. Don't cut your Lifeline and die prematurely. God is giving you oxygen. He let you breathe in a supernatural supply of what you need, what you desire, what you want. Don't disconnect the cord and mess up your reward because you don't respect the Lord and you won't fast forward. He's trying to give you a Ferrari instead of a Ford. Listen, I'm just playing around. Listen, I'm joking around. I'm joking around. I'm joking around. Nah, I just was joking around. That's just a word of wisdom. I just, I'm just playing around with, 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 with the anointing right now. Nah, God said I can do it, man. I don't, 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 nah, don't come down, son. Don't play around. Nah, I, God said I can do it. I got that privilege.
So when I'm thinking God, I'm inviting all type of angels. My job is not just to thank God, but to discern when the angelic presence is strong. Because when I decree with angelic presence, those angels are res responsible like a waitress to fulfill my request. See, when I'm thanking God, I have to be very sober and attentive. I can't, I can't be sleeping. I have to know what's going on in the spirit. When the angelic presence come, I have the right to start saying things and they, and they respond to me to minister those things to me. Write that down, angelic maids. Angelic maids. Angelic maids. Angelic maids. Angelic maids are there to be a waiter, to host me. So while I'm decreeing a thing, they are there to help me. To manifest what I'm decreeing. That's why the Bible says decree a thing shall be established in Job chapter 22 verse 28. But if you go further up in Job 22, it said acquaint now yourself with God. Why did the Bible tell you acquaint yourself with God? Because God has angels around him that's attending to his word. So in order for me to acquaint myself with God, it means that I have the same divine apostolic dominion, prophetic dominion over angels. If I acquaint myself with God, I put myself in the position God moves with angels. So now I'm, I'm authorized in the spirit. I have divine license. I have angelic license to drive angels where my inheritance is, where my destiny is. I have angelic license. Write that down. Somebody say it. I have angelic license. Write that down. Say it. Say it in your atmosphere. I have, I have angelic license. I have angelic license. I have, see saints, you ever heard this before? Malakusi van de levosia. You ever heard this before? I have angelic license. You ever heard this before, man? I have angelic license. Jesus. I have angelic license. I have angelic license. I have angelic license. Man, you ever heard this before? I have angelic license. I have the the uh the authorization from the city of heaven and the government of heaven, the government of God, to navigate angels. Lele maso kole vasua. See, see, a, a, an apostle and a prophet is a dangerous thing. You know why? Because the prophet is revel, uh, revelatory for your direction. But an apostle is revelatory for your resurrection. See. See. And for both of those offices to connect together, you get the fullness of Jesus. That's why the Bible said that we are uh, upon the foundation of the apostle and the prophet. Huh? And then it said that Jesus being the chief cornerstone. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Switch it. I got a new tune. Now... Look what happened. 
the Bible just let us know that with the prophet and the apostle being the foundation, they are equivalent to Jesus. So you can't even get to the fullness of Jesus until you meet somebody that's flowing in both offices. And listen, when you connect with that man of God's anointing, listen, <laughs> the prophet come for mysteries to be revealed. The apostle come for miracles to be revealed. Write that down. Write that down. See, I feel my frosty flakes. Sign say beauty wigs. What beauty wigs market? I need to go up in there and get one. I need to buy some of y'all one of them mugs. You feel me? I just saw a beauty wig market, man. I can't believe this, man. I feel violated. Man, how, how you gonna call it a market, man? We need food in the market, man. We need food in the market, not wigs, man. Come on, that's a violation. That's a violation. Shoot, man. Oh, God, man, I'm trying. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to work. Man, how you just going? Man, I can't believe this, man. It's shocking. It's just shocking. Just shocking and shocked me. Just shocked me. Unexpected that it just shocked me. Shock. The apostle come to reveal miracles. The prophet come to reveal mysteries. Now when you think in God, you take an apostolic rulership apostolic uh, governing grace write that down apostolic governing grace there's a grace to govern your region your revelation uh, your restoration and your riches you got those four realms apostolic governing grace to govern over your region, your revelation, your restoration, and your riches. You got four operations here. You have to govern over your revelation. That means don't let the devil take it from you. That's, that's very powerful right here. Don't let the devil take away your revelation. All right? Uh, apostolic governing grace for revelation is real powerful because this is where everything going to spring forth. If I lose my revelation, I lose my hope, I lose my sense of direction, and I lose my divine connection. If I lose revelation, I can be disconnected from my leader. You see that happen with so many people. They turn stupid. You're like, how could God say one thing one minute and then you just turn? You dumb. You retarded. That ain't no discernment. You just dumb. You stupid. If you don't govern revelation, you'll lose everything that God has given you in a snap of a moment. And the devil will laugh at you. He'll clown at you. Cause he like, look at you. You you can you you God sent you somebody to help you. And look what you did. You don't you don't blew it. Pride, pride, pride is where you collide with the spirit of stupid. Pride. Pride is where you collide with the spirit of stupid. It's a collision that brings a division with your provision and your vision. You see that? Pride is a collision that causes division with your provision. And your vision. And turn you from an eagle to a pigeon. Uh, 
let me say it again. Pride turns Pride causes a collision with division from your provision and your vision and it turns you from an eagle to a pigeon. That's what happened to so many people. They don't govern their revelation, then they turn stupid. I have to apostolic uh, governing grace. I have to govern revelation, number one. I have to govern revelation. When I govern revelation, this is what I'm doing. I am protecting what Jesus has revealed to me. I am protecting what Jesus has revealed to me. Write that down, daughter. Don't, don't, don't be on this line and not write this stuff down. Don't be on this line because you need to hear this stuff and you need to meditate on it. And, and don't, don't listen to this teaching and not let this stuff be drilled in your soul. Because a lot of you all shout hallelujah, then you the dumb, you, you turn dumb. You, you become one of those dumb people in, in, in the months later on. All right? Cause I see, I'm seeing a lot of people fall by the wayside. And, Hallelujah, glory to God. Then, then they're stupid, like they're retarded. Like what, you, Dad? Witchcraft doesn't hit you that bad. So, so write this stuff down. Apostolic governing grace. You saints, you see them. You see people. Oh, they anointed. Oh, I got healed. I got delivered. Woo, woo, woo. And then you see them next minute, like a, like a, like a, like a inf infidel. Hey, Dad, you, you don't got Alzheimer's. Now, apostolic governing grace, I have to govern revelation. It's my job to protect what God has revealed to me. See, I'm so strong about this. I, I want to share this teaching real quick. Now I'm out. See, this is for your benefit, what I'm doing right now. This is good for your soul. Uh... It is my job to protect what God has revealed to me. If I don't protect it, uh, deception is my harvest. If I don't protect what God reveals to me, deception is my harvest. And when deception becomes my harvest, I automatically create a covenant with Satan for him to be my Lord. It don't matter what I say. It don't matter what I do. I'm in covenant with Satan to be my Lord. When I refuse revelation. I can talk about Jesus all day. I'm in covenant with Satan. Uh, you talking about Jesus don't produce a covenant. You're going to have to do Jesus to produce a covenant. When I say do Jesus, you're going to have to make some decisions, baby. All right. Apostolic governing grace. I have to govern revelation. I have to govern my region. That's number two. If I don't govern my region, my region will suffocate what God came to demonstrate financially, physically, mentally for my life. If I don't govern apostolic governing grace over my region. If I don't exercise that apostolic governing grace over my region, I automatically uh, suffocate what God came to demonstrate in my life. Always remember this. Your, manifestate, your manifestation is connected to your region clear out. Write that down. Your manifestation is is connected to your region clear out. I got to clear out my region to get a manifestation from God. A lot of times you ain't even the problem. Your region is stopping you from receiving a manifestation of what belongs to you. Your region got principalities that's combating your manifestation. All right. So if I don't have apostolic governing grace over this, the region, those spirits can keep on hater blocking my harvest. 
and hate a blocking my increase. Uh, taking apostolic uh, governing grace over uh, uh, restoration. I have to apostolically dominate to get restored. Remember the Bible, the first thing it says, Psalm 23, he restored my soul. See, we looking for restoration of finances, but we don't got to restore a soul. Some of you all soul is still wounded and scarred about stuff that happened to you. So the restoration of the soul is going to be first. When I deal with restoration, I know what the first thing we think about is provision. But the first thing that I need restored is my vision. Uh, remember, Jesus talked about the recovery of sight to the blind. My soul, when it is bitter, it is blind. Listen, some of y'all won't admit this, but when you get bitter, don't you, don't you become blind to consequences. You don't even think about it. Huh? When you become unforgiven, you become blind to consequences. When you become uh, uh, soulish, you become blind to consequences. If you get real angry, you become blind to consequences. What happened? Because when the soul is blind... All right. It's blind to consequences. So it operates anyway. Anyhow. Now look what happens. Jesus said, I came for the recovery site of the blind. So what he was saying, I'm going to restore your soul. By getting your soul not to be blind. I'm going to give it sight. And when I give it sight, it's going to give it light. When I give it light, it's going to give it right. Now you know what you have a right to walk in. Joy, peace, happiness, uh, self-control, the fruit of the spirit. Uh, Genesis, Genesis chapter, uh, no, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, 23. So your soul begin to operate uh, in supernatural right because it has supernatural sight, which led it to supernatural light. Which is the word of God. That word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path, uh, a, a light into my path. Psalm chapter one nineteen. Psalm chapter one nineteen. And then we deal with uh, uh, right, which is divine dominion, uh, which also can go in line with uh, Second Peter chapter one verse three. Uh, he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness, his divine power. See, that divine power also will make you rich. That divine power will heal your body. That divine power is a supernatural power. It gives you all things that pertain to life and godliness.